President and members of the legislature, when I was young and more emotional, uh, I think that it was my, I think it was my second year here, when I was younger and more emotional. Senator Chambers was railing on on something. It was near the end of the session. Everybody was tired, except him, of course. At least that's what he'll claim. I think he was tired. I saw the bags under his eyes. But he he was railing on something, and uh, Senator Chambers used to call him Quackenbush. Mark Quandall used to sit right where where Senator Paul sat. And I said, uh, Senator Quandall, where are those little uh, yellow books? He goes, uh, oh, you know, amendment sheets or whatever. I said, yeah, give me one. I didn't know what I was. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I grabbed it. And I said, I'm going to throw up a motion to sign a die. We had like, I think we had like six days left or something. And, and this is not to pat myself on the back, but just to show you, <laughs> show, to show you how quickly th things can change when you have half a full chamber and you toss a grenade in the middle of the, in the, middle of the room. Well, um, so I walk up there and I dropped it up. I, I dropped it off over on the side, and uh, Patrick O'Donnell, the clerk, looks at it, and he walks over to somebody. I don't know who he walked over to. And the next thing you know, Kermit's running up there, Kermit Brashear. There's about three people up there, and their hands are flailing around and everything else, and I'm just sitting there going, uh-oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. And then Kermit catches me over on the side, and he goes, do you know what you're doing? And I, and I said, yeah, I know what I'm doing. He goes, do you realize what this does? And I said, that's how he talked, isn't it, kind of? <laughs> do you realize, he, he's real loud too, do you realize what this does? I said, I, I, Kermit, I know exactly what it does. I want it in there and I want to vote on it. He goes, you want to vote on this? And I said, yes, I do. Actually, he wasn't the speaker at the time, Senator Brown was. But Kermit was exercised, to say the least. So anyway, Senator Brom grabs the mic and says, we can't do this, we can't leave. So they, people are running up there and they're angry, part of them, I guess, some of them. And Gene Tice, I got three votes. I got mine, I got, I believe I got Senator Loudon's, and I got Gene Tyson's. The triumvirate. No, maybe Senator Stutman. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go back and look. I was not prepared. It was three votes. One of them was mine. I'll find out who the other one was. But Gene Tyson was one of them. I went over and asked Gene later, and I said, why did you vote yes? I'm just curious. He goes, because I don't care if I hang around here any longer. I mean, he, he was, that was close to the way he used to. I don't, I'm ready to go. Hell, let's leave. Uh... And then I asked Senator Chambers, I said, why didn't you vote for my signing die? You were, you were crazy. You said you hated us all, and you were ready to leave. He goes, I'm not finished here. I go, okay, all right. He's never finished, folks. He's never finished. This will happen again over and over again. You'll see the cloture motion here soon enough. Just vote your conscience, not like the signing die motion. Um, <laughs> vote, vote, would you, vote the way you know you need to vote for your communities. One vote minute. the way you know you need to vote for your city managers who are scratching their heads and don't have the don't have the inside knowledge and the ability because of the positions that they're in scattered around the state to grab hold of this issue. Do it for the right reasons. I think there's plenty of them. He's never finished. I'm getting to the point where I don't think I am either. Thank you, Mr. President.